So I'm going to show you how I applied poor man's fiberglass, also known as PMF, to my foamy truck camper. I'm going to cover what poor man's fiberglass is, all the materials that you'll need to do it yourself, and a few tricks and tips to show you how I got it to stick to my foamy truck topper. So poor man's fiberglass is a technique where you apply painter's canvas to a surface such as foam or wood and you use wood glue such as tight bond 2 is what I've heard it to be the best and that's what I used myself to get that painter's canvas to stick to the foam. Right now I'm just test fitting the material to make sure that I cut it to the right size. We just have two side pieces and one that goes all the way over the top. So before we did that we actually sanded the entire thing and made sure that it was all nice and roughed up so that it gave the glue and the canvas the best chance to adhere to the side of it because the foam is pretty slick the way it comes and I don't think it's meant to have stuff stuck to it that way so we wanted to definitely go ahead and sand it all down before we stuck the canvas up there so you notice those white squares on the corners of the camper that's actually spray foam and what I did where it came together I spray foamed all the cracks let that fizz up dry out and then I went there with a the knife scraped it all down before I sanded everything so that when I did go and sand it it made that area be nice and smooth so that when I put the canvas over it since it's a very thin material and it's going to show all the bumps and everything and the imperfections underneath um, it would kind of mask that and as you can see here once I applied the canvas and started putting that second layer of glue you know it covered up most of those there's still some imperfections on the other side this is the side that I did do better now a tip when you're pouring it is glue this stuff wants to dry extremely fast and since we're using a paintbrush just like this one here to apply it um, you don't have a lot of time that you're working with so make sure that all your materials are ready to go as soon as you make that first pour and start applying the glue now the first layer that you do on the foam you don't want it to be too thick you just want it to be kind of enough to get the canvas to stick to it so we're going to go ahead afterwards and iron it down we don't want it to bleed through to the outside because when we apply the coat on the outside, that's what's going to be seeping in and giving it that waterproof finish. Now I overlapped the cloth two inches on each side so that the seams are not right on the corner. They're all the way on the sides and there's a few different layers that has to get penetrated if there ever was going to be a leak. But I don't think we're ever going to have to worry about that really. Now using that iron really helped on the edges and corners just to make it real smooth and just adhere really nicely. Uh, I did a little test without it and with it, and afterwards it definitely made it stick that much better. You know, and I really took a lot of time to cut and fold over these edges so that once it's all painted up and that extra layer of glue goes on there, it's all going to smoothen out pretty nice and you're really not going to notice that they're there. So this is before I applied the glue, I'm just test fitting the top piece. You can see it's pretty wrinkly. Uh, I did a pre-wash and a pre-iron on them to try to get some of the wrinkles out but this stuff is kind of thick so it's some of it's kind of really hard to get out but I did my best and then ironing it afterwards really helped a lot too. Um, as you see the top here the middle came out really nice but up in the front there I did kind of mess it up pretty good and on the side here you can see that it's not the best and you're going to see the imperfections underneath it. So I wish I did take a little bit more time on that side just to make that look a little bit better. But overall, it's, it's still good. It's going to work out just fine. Now, I don't have any pictures of that beginning process because the paint was drying quick. I mean, the glue was drying really fast, so I didn't have time to do anything other than just get it on there as quickly as possible. You know, I wish I would have known that it was going to do that, so I would have been just a little bit more prepared. But overall, it ended up working out. Um, but you can see here, this is the second coat on the outside. I ended up doing quite a few layers and getting it really, really thick so that it just soaked all the way into that canvas so that there was nothing for water to penetrate. And this is the finished product. I went through two full gallons of paint glue between the inside and the outside. I've seen some people dilute down the glue with paint or water or something like that, but I just decided to go full as thick as I can on the outside, cover the entire thing in the wood glue, and then I'm just gonna paint it after that. And I want to mention one more time that we are working with glue. We're painting on glue. So your paintbrush thickens up a lot. I had to replace the foam quite a few times and it just dries on the side. So just be prepared for that. Make sure the temperature is right. I'm not sure what the right temperature would be, but maybe look into it. I didn't. Now this was before I applied that outer layer of glue. So as you can see, I just used 
a thin layer of glue to adhere the canvas to the foam and then I use the iron to get it all nice and flat and as smooth as possible and then I paint it on the, all of that. Now here's the camper after I applied the white exterior paint which I just painted that on with the paintbrush as well nothing fancy there. Uh, came out pretty slick. I didn't sand it afterwards. I left it with that rough feeling to the canvas and but from far away you really can't tell and you get up nice and close. You know if you want to sand it, paint it, sand it, paint it a few times you can get it coming out really smooth looking like actual fiberglass but I just didn't really want to do that. Didn't bother me at all. You know my goal was just get this thing done as quickly as possible and get out there using it. You know, but maybe you want to spend more time and get it looking a little bit better and that's on you no problem uh, it's, it can come out looking pretty good there's some videos that get more into that on youtube uh, if you look it up well i think that pretty much covers it you know you just want to sand the foam use the type bond too use that painter's canvas you know don't stretch your material just rub it down with your hand at first and then go over it with the iron paint it nice and thick afterwards with the glue and then hit it with that layer of just exterior paint and you're pretty much good to go if you made it this far please like and subscribe to the channel we're going to be dropping more videos about this thing and getting into some more projects adding some things to it so we'll see you guys there